Winchester High School football on Z103. There's the kickoff. It goes to the far side of the field, bounces past the receivers and into the end zone for a touchback. The ball will be brought to the 20-yard line. Aaron Graylick to the near sideline and Drew Whitaker to the far. Split back behind him, first play from scrimmage, and the ball carrier is cut right, and he slams over the 25 to the 27-yard line, and maybe even out to the 28 off right tackle behind George Williams and Mike Carroll. Well, good yardage on the opening thrust, and back to the line they come. Again, same formation, split backs and a pro set. And again, they go into the line, and again, it's cut right, and he has the first down, and he's still into the secondary over the 40, the 45, and rips his way out to the 48-yard line, Jason Thrust makes a, what might have been a touch. Trojans now send Graylick out to the near side and Whitaker to the far. They split the backs again. Same formation, and here comes that running back, Ryan Cutright, and this time the Gale say no-no. He makes it out to the 49-yard line where Todd Plant puts the hit on him after a, Cutright takes a break now and goes to the sideline for a bit of a breather, and uh, quarterback Ireland is up under center on second down and nine and back to throw, and he fires for his favorite target who went one way, and the ball the other, and it sails into the Lancaster bench, and luckily, to the near side, and uh, a wide receiver, uh, Rob Lanigan, goes to the far side, and they'll go down the middle again, and nothing is there for Cutright, he's hit at the 50, and knocked down after a one-yard pickup, and it's the linebacker, Jason Wolf, who comes in, Okarecki is in the game to do just that. Lancaster sends uh, double receivers deep. We got Poston and Wickham back there, and there is the punt, and it's a nice one. Poston drops back and then comes in after it at the 15, tries to dodge a tackle, but White tears all over him, and they drive him back. Uh, Poston might have made it to the 18-yard line, and then his forward progress stopped. Big uh, defensive front for the Trojans in, in, in range. They're rangy, 6'4", 6 6 that type size. As McCoy is back to throw, he fires and completes his first pass of the night to Tim Henwood at the 23-yard line, and he goes down immediately in the arms of Brad Iron. Kenwood, not on Nick McCoy, but he makes a nice catch there for a pickup of five, actually. Second down and five yards to go. McCoy, with the ball, gives to the first man through. And it is Kirk Morris to the 30, to the 35, first down, Lancaster, as he goes out over the 35 to the 36-yard line. And Aaron, a 5'7", 170-pound junior, running very well on his first carry of the night. Now, he is the only running back as Colin Foote slides out into a slot on the left side, and Henwood goes in motion, flooding the field with receivers to the left side, and McCoy goes that way to throw. Beautiful catch by Henwood at the 40, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 42 by Aaron Graylick again. Big reception by Paul Tim Henwood, picking up a gain of Tyler Brown now as the wide out to the near side. Two running backs in behind Nick McCoy, both Morris and Foot. And it is Morris again. Morris right down the middle of the defense to the 43-yard line and forced backwards by Fred Lund inside line. Possession play for Lancaster. They slot the receivers to the near sideline, and McCoy throws. It is hot. First down, Lancaster, as Tyler Brown takes the catch and is run out of bounds at the 50-yard line by Aaron Graylick. Wow, Aaron Graylick, who is the favorite receiver for the receivers, he's been every place. McCoy, working with the slippery football, has been very effective uh, early on. At the 49-yard line, he has hit his first three passes. Back to throw again. Tucks it away, he'll run. To the line of scrimmage, he's got five. And that's about it, as he is knocked down at the 44-yard line, maybe into the 43 by Tony Benichek. Second down, five, like it. We are scoreless, 7-20, remaining in the first quarter of play. McCoy on a counterplay to Foot as the defense sees it, and they knock Foot down in the backfield for a loss of three or four yards. Third down, Lancaster, and eight yards to go. McCoy slots his team, double slot to the left. Back to throw. Gets time, now starts to break down. He's being rushed, and he's back way back at the 42-yard line of Lancaster by here for the punt now. Henwood uh, drops back into punt formation. He'll get the snap at his own 28-yard line, and he's going to fake it and throw it, and he does for Colin Foot, and he catches it. He's back to the first down marker yet, and I think he got there. And he's knocked out of bounds across the 40, down at about the 37-yard line by Tony Benichek. Boy, what a gutsy call. Lancaster at the 37-yard line of the Trojans. Split back, wide out.
stopped either way. Hands off to Kurt Morris. Morris driving and digging into the interior line inside the 35, 33, maybe the 32. Jack Miller and Fred, well, he uh, threw the ball well, and Colin Foote caught that slippery ball well, and it's first and 10, and the Gales are rolling, and McCoy to throw. Flips a quick pass to Henwood. He catches it at the 27 and pulls his way into the 23-yard line. Tony Benishek stops it for the Trojan defense. A big gamble behind off the Trojan. McCoy brings his offense back to the line. Morris and Foote are the running back. It is Morris on the first uh, handoff through to the 20-yard line, and that's all. Three-yard gain, second down, seven down to the 20-yard line, second down and seven. The Gales send Wheeler and Brown in Kansas to the wide side of the field. Morris gets the call. Morris off right tackle, squeezes through a hole into the secondary. Fumbles the football at the 13-yard line, and the Trojans have recovered. George Williams. 15-yard line of the Trojans, and here they come. Ireland, wide outs either way. Two running backs. Gives to the second man through it, Glenn Bear. He has very little, maybe only one yard. Rob Rocker, that tough, 200 tough, getting only one yard on his next two carries. Back to the line. Comes Finland. Second down, 10 yards to go. Flag goes down. The clock ticks away. We're down to the four-minute mark. First quarter of play. Chris Ireland runs the offense. He has an eye formation for the first time tonight. Only one wide out, two tight ends. Ireland drops into the end zone to throw. He rolls right. He whistles the pass. It is caught by Graylick at the 19-yard line, and he's out of bounds when he catches it. So it will be an in. Glenn Bear in the running back field behind Chris Ireland. And Ireland drops into the end zone to throw again. He's rushed. He gets the pass away. It is intercepted and dropped. Oh, the Gales had an absolute wide open shot at that football and uh, could not hold it. And I believe that one got a bit anxious and couldn't hold the ball. So the Trojans now, with a break there, will be forced to punt on fourth down and 15. A high snap from center, but it's brought down and kicked away. And the ball hits at the 35 of the Trojans, rolls sideways across the field, and is down to the 34. So the Gales, with excellent field position, the Gales come back to the line of scrimmage with Kurt Morris and Colin Foote split behind McCoy. It is Morris. Morris is hit at the line of scrimmage and there is nothing there. He is dropped by George Williams, but I'll guarantee you one thing, he had a good stop. So now the starter all year long, Mike Rosser, is in the backfield, and he's the only running back. Wide out either side, second down, nine yards to go. Ball given to Rosser, sweeps left. Rosser hit from behind and finally drags down after a pickup of a half yard or so by Eric Ball, officially at the 31-yard line. Let's call it third down and eight yards to go for the Gale. Trojans trying to put up a stand here as Lancaster takes over on a short punt. McCoy throwing deep and missing. Wheeler, or rather Tyler Brown, at the 12-yard line out on the scrimmage. Tyler Brown, their only wide receiver? No. They have wide out either side. Only one running back, and that's Rosser. Back to throw is McCoy. Fires deep down the right sidelines, and it is not caught by Tyler Brown. A diving try and a great try by Brown. Just a pad overthrown. And Tony Benishek into the defense, replacing uh, John Carter. Trojans to the line of scrimmage on first down 10 at their own 31-yard line. First man through is uh, Gene Bayer, I believe, and he gets a couple of yards at the most, maybe only one. Sets to the line of scrimmage on second down and nine yards to go. Slip backs and wide receivers either side. Ireland, face to the first man, gives to the second, and it's Josh Miller plowing into the line of the 35, and that's as far as he can go. He is still six yards. Josh Miller, the only running back. A slot situation and, in fact, a double slot for the Trojans and a fake handoff and the quarterback is back to fire and he throws and it's complete at the 50-yard line and across midfield, the Trojans have a first down at the Lancaster 48-yard line. Manpower, they have less than uh, 50 players here, I believe, but they're playing strong right now. Ireland gets the snap, gives to his tailback and Josh Miller plows from the 49-yard line to the 46-yard line and 46-yard line. They had a nice defensive stand as Lancaster took
took the ball first and 10 at the Trojan 36 and could not move it. But now it's the Trojans' turn. A fake reverse, and Ireland keeps the ball, rolls right. He wants to throw, he does. It is complete at the 28-yard line, and the receiver is Glenn Bear, and he's down to the 25-yard line. Another first down for the Trojans. Keep in mind that most of these uh, youngsters go both ways, and that could be a factor in the second half as Ireland brings them back up with only one running back, and he uses that running back, and there's nothing there for Josh Miller at all. On a first and ten, he gets full Simmons. Tony Benishek is now in as a wide out. He goes to the far side of the field, Whitaker to the short side, and the ball carrier is Josh Miller, and he plows into that line, and there's nothing there again. Rock hard, Lancaster defense being played by Mike O'Rourke, who simply would not all field, and Rob Lanigan comes to the short side, and the two running backs are split behind Ireland. Cut right, and Miller back to throw as Ireland. He's going deep for the coffin corner, and it is incomplete. He had his receiver turn the wrong way, and as he tried, as great an opportunity as the Gales did earlier. Trojans coming to the line. Chris Ireland has Whitaker as one wide receiver. Gets the snap, drops back to throw, pump fake, now fires for the four corner, and it is dropped. It is incomplete and a good defensive play as the Gale defender Steve Harris came in and stuck a hand in between Aaron Graylich just as the ball reached Graylich. Driving rain now as it comes down pretty hard here at Fulton Field, and Ireland brings his offense on fourth down and nine, and they're going to go for it out of the eye formation. And Ireland drops back to throw, he pumps fake, and he fires, and is hit twice, and then down onto the turf. Both the offense and the defense had a hand on it, and Steve Poston nearly got two hands on it, an incompleted pass, and now both teams. Of course, was thrown by Henwood out of front formation. No right. One less building beer that really... Throw the to the line of scrimmage. McCoy has three running backs. They're going to button it up here, it looks like, and they, they send, uh, it might have been Colin Foote into the line, and he cracks out over the 15-yard yard line of Lancaster. Ten minutes remaining. First half of play. Again, full house backfield, only one wide receiver. Again, Colin Foote plows off left tackle, cracks out over the 16, and that's about it to go, and now the Gales are going to open it up a bit as they bring Brown in and take Andy Smelter, the second team tight end out, and put wide outs to the wide side of the field. Then McCoy right, he's being rushed, he's hit, he throws just as he's hit, and he completes it to the 20-yard line, but short of the first down to Mike Wheeler. A dangerous pass early in the game, and in the last few minutes that has been all fiddly in field position, and they're likely to get good position again as Henwood gets the snap, a low one, he scoops it up, kicks it upfield, gets the reverse bounce, and it's down to the 40-yard line of the Trojans, so they have good position as Steve Harris downs the ball, but we'll find out later on as the Trojans bring it to the line of scrimmage. Chris Ireland, double wide out to the near side, gives to his only running back, pops the football loose as he cuts into the line, and the Gales scramble for it. They're back at the 25-yard line in their own territory. It looks like they may have it, but there is no official indication yet. Well, that would be a tremendous break if the Trojans come up to the line of scrimmage. They have one running back. And he gets the call, and he is hammered at the line of scrimmage. It is Glenn Bear hit immediately by Mike O'Rourke more conservatively than they might because of this rain. It continues to come down. Ryan Cutright, the only running back, but there's a quick pass to the near side to Glenn Bear. He takes it at the 25 behind the line of scrimmage, races forward to the 20, gets inside the 17 and is hit and knocked down at the 15. Ryan Cutright is the only running back. They have two wide receivers slotted to the near side and one wide out to the far side as Ireland calls for the ball on third down. Trojans to the line of scrimmage and Tony Benichek is the wide receiver to the far side. Drew Whitaker to the near side. Quarterback uh, Ireland hands to his running back, and Cutright is hit at the line of scrimmage, and a penalty flag flies into the huddle. Trojans send wide receivers either way. Only one running back, Ryan Cutright, behind Ireland, the quarterback. Second down and 10. A uh, fake reverse, and Ireland rolls right to throw into the end zone, and the ball is incomplete. In the end zone, the pass was intended for Glenn Bear and broken up by Steve to the line of scrimmage. Ireland fumbles the snap from center, scoops it up and rolls back to throw. He fires and it is incomplete. He intended it for Drew Whitaker, but uh, Ireland was running for his life. Jason's the line, and again, the Trojans have uh, disdained the field goal attempt. They're going for the touchdown. Out of the eye formation, Ireland drops the throw. His protection breaks down. He scrambles to the far side, skips out of one tackle, throws it into the end zone. It is uh, incomplete or intercepted, and it was intercepted by Steve Poston. And the ball will come out to the 20-yard line for well, the Gales will play it first down and 10. And Poston has picked up his fourth interception of this young season. You know, we look at the stat sheet, he's and they come up to the line of scrimmage with Scott Burry running the offense for the first time tonight. Burry gives to uh, Kurt Morris, and 
and I'll tell you, Morris was down before he got the hand. Nick McCoy, an excellent young man, a very bright young man. His only question is his height. And off to Morris again, and Morris again is snowed under, back behind the line of scrimmage, clear back at the 15, back into the lineup there. Tyler Brown taking a breather, coming to the sideline. Snap to Burry, and he's rolling left to throw the ball. He's being rushed, he turns, and he fires, and it is hot! line it is first down 10 like it and Chris Faust now checks into the lineup for the game Faust making his first appearance so now Burry has his guns in there and he drops the throw it again and now he puts it away and runs with it and dives across the 35 to the 37 they're going to mark it dead at the 36 Fred off to the short side and Brown to the wide side of the field he has split back behind him and Burry on second down and eight goes on a counter play to Colin Foot off right tackle spins out of a tackle at the 35 and drags the defender to the 30 38-yard line, and that's as far as he can get. Glenn Barrett, 323 remaining, first half of play, a scoreless football game. Scott Murray now running the Lancaster attack, has one running back, he drops the throw, he has all day long, he fires and is fouled to catches the ball at the 45-yard line, first down Lancaster. Aaron Grayling on covering for the Trojans. Murray is 2 of 2 now in the passing department. And brings his team back to the line of scrimmage. Hit Mike Wheeler for the first one and coming back with foul. There's a pass down the sideline for foul. And he's got him again at the first.
refreshing and vanity cleaners. Dry cleaning with a personal touch. Super Steve 103. And as we come back to play here, the Trojans want to come along with uh, Poston to receive the punt from Karecki. And there's the kick, and it's a good one. Driving the Gales back, and it's Wickham at the 33-yard line to the 35 to the 40, 45, 50, 47, and fumbles the football as he is hit hard, but I think he fumbled it out of bounds, and it will remain with the Gales offense. Nick McCoy, and now he remains on the field as he sets up this Lancaster drive. One running back, wide outs either way. Surrey, the sophomore, digs for the ball, drops three steps, turns, and whips the pass to Chris Faust at the 45. He's got the first down to the 40 and down the sideline and out of bounds at the 32 in the arms of Marlon Berry. And if Berry doesn't make that Colin foul for the wide out, Colin Foote is in the slot to the near side. Mike Rosser is the only running back behind Burry. He wants to throw. He fires to the far side. This one is low and incomplete, intended for Tyler Brown. Second, 38 seconds on the clock here in the first half of play. It's second down, 10 yards to go. Burry with a quick snap back to throw. He has time. He's going deep for foul, and it is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Marlon Berry had a hand on it at the one-yard line. Being very careful and playing very deep and not giving the deep pass. They're giving the shorter route. 31 seconds. Third down, 10. 33-yard line. Burry rolls right to throw it again. He looks. He pumps. He fires. It is hit by the defense and incomplete. It will be fourth down and 10. We have 25 seconds. Brown and Faust in tandem to the wide side of the field. And in fact, a foot is there too to flood that side. And uh, Surrey rolls to that side on fourth and 10, and he throws it incomplete. So the ball will be turned back over to the back, I think, in 58, maybe. Great. I think he was captain of Indiana. We'll, we'll find that out if we ever find it. Trojans now will uh, put it down and on one knee. And there is a flag flying as the quarterback, Chris Ireland, went down. Team as the penalty is accepted by Lewis. Now we're ready to go in the second half as Beal is ready to kick it away. And uh, now I understand why they don't kick field goals. It hits at the 35-yard line and rolls back to Colin Foote, who picks it up at about the 20 and comes back out to the 28-yard line. Well, the Gales will start this series. First down, 10 at their McCoy, who started the game. Murray starts the second half. Mike Rother is his only running back. He has a double slot as he steps under center for the snap. Drop three steps. Big Ross is on, and he is back at the 22-yard line. Murray had no second down, 15 yards to go. Murray sets them with the wide out to either side. One running back drops the throw over the middle for Faust, and he overthrows him, and leaping into the air was Glenn. To the short side of the field comes Tyler Brown. To the wide side, Chris Faust. Foot drops into a slot, and Ross is the only running back, and there's a pass to hit one of the brilliant catches of the 40 to the 45 to the 50, and across midfield to the 48 yard line. And Tony Menachek makes the tackle, and that is a sensational fingertip grab of a wet football by 30 yards. Back out over the ball now at the 47 yard line of the Trojans. It's first and 10. Again, Henwood with a fingertip catch at the 40, and he's drilled at the 35 yard line. Another first down on a gain of 12. Fred Lund makes the tackle for the throw playing time here. Henwood has now caught seven passes tonight, and he is up to 86 yards in the air. Murray to Rosser. Rosser straight down the gut to the 31 yard line, a gain of four. Second and rangy tight end, and that's the combination that has been successful for the Gale. Second down, six. Murray rolls left, gets a block from Rosser and needs it. He is rushed and hit just as he throws the ball. As a 10, a 50% passer for 65 yards, one TD and one interception. He's added a touchdown pass to those totals here tonight. Steps under for the snap on third and six. Fires to the far side for Faust. He's got him, but well short of the first down. Faust is taken out of bounds at the 30-yard line for a gain of only two or seven. Fourth down and five at the 30-yard line for the Gales, and here they go for it. Going for the first down, and Burry rolls right. Burry looks, he tucks it, chases his line, puts it away again, rolls for the first down as he comes down the sideline inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Scott Burry, hit by Brad Iron. Burry was the first down. Ten minutes remaining, third quarter, Lancaster up 7-0. Ricky's made good decisions tonight while he's been in there. Murray has Mike Rosser behind him. Wide receiver.
receivers to either side, drop three steps, looks to the far sideline, fires deep, and then is poorly thrown and nearly intercepted, incomplete. Colin Cook goes with foul to the wide side of the field. Tim Henwood comes with Tyler Brown to the short side. Ross is the only back. Second 10 over the middle for Bounds. And the 10 to the 5 to the 3 to the 2 yard line. A beautifully thrown ball right on number 6. And Marlon Perry makes the tackle as first and goal Gales at the 2 yard Chris foul. First down and goal. Full house backfield. Andy Smelter in the lineup now for Lancaster. Murray for the snap. Gets the football. Gives the college foot. And I tell you, that was a great wall down block by Jim Blotz, who really swung him into there. And he did a great job there. The block works, the Gales lead 13 0, and the extra point sails through. It is 14 0, Lancaster, and we'll be back after this time out. Your family's growing. You've always wanted a van, but thought you couldn't afford one. Lancaster in a very gentle rain now, and he kicks it off a line drive. It hits and bounces into the hands of Ireland, who throws the ball across the fair, and Fair is hit at the 23-yard line and dropped hard by Steve Harris. A little uh, tipsy doodle is Ireland, the quarterback, who throws the ball too officially. First down 10 for Chris Ireland, Finley Trojan. One running back, blocked both ways. Ireland drops the throw, fires, and it is incomplete, and a penalty flag is down back at the quarterback spot. Maybe rough for the ball come the Trojans. First down 10 at their own 37-yard line. They trail by 14. Ireland with one running back drops the throw. A fake rush, hit, and back at the 28-yard line by John Carter. 5'10", senior defensive end, rips it down for the loss, and the big one it is of about 10 to the line of scrimmage they come. Zach Lawrence in the ball game as a wide receiver for the first time tonight. Here's the fake reverse. Ireland rolls right. He wants to pass it. He's being rushed. He finally throws it into the crowd. And that could be an intentional ground. And that will be the cut down 25 for Finley from their own 22-yard line. They're going backwards on this drive. Ireland sets his team. One running back. Slots to both sides. Makes that uh, reverse. Back to throw. Turns, fires, and completes his pass to Ryan Cutright, but he's out of bounds at about the line of scrimmage. A little at base, Kyle Karecki onto the field to do the punting. The snap will be by Todd Miller, and that's a tough job on a wet night. The snap is perfect. The ball is fumbled by the punter, and it is recovered at the 18-yard line by the Gale. It will be first and 10, Lancaster, as Kyle Karecki, the punter, took a perfect snap from center, and then as he started to extend his arm to uh, get a foot on the ball, going hard in the first half, on their way now to making this one a route if they can put it in the end zone here. They're leading 14 to nothing. Colin Foot, left tackle, gets five, ripping and tearing for 10 yards. of the game, but as it now stands, Rosser getting the majority of playing time. Wide outs are Brown and Faust, and they're both to the near side. Split back behind, Murray gives to Collins, foot off left tackle to the five, the four, the three, and out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Foot has a nose for the end zone, and he was digging for it. The coach is there. Two tight end offense and their full house backfield. Murray gets the snap, gives to Colin Foot, and he is hit at the goal line. No indication. He is very, very close. But short, the three backs are Smelter, Rosser, and Foot behind Murray. Murray on third down and short. Again, it's Colin Foot, and again he is denied as that Trojan defense has a touchdown. Again, the robust T formation, a full house backfield. Murray makes it to Foot. He is caught, and he is dropped in a tremendous. Goal line stand by the Trojans. Rick Rippler leads that charge. <laughs> Trojans coming to the line of scrimmage. Chris Ireland calling for the snap from center. At the three-yard line in his own territory, quarterback sneaks it to the five. What a terrible, terrible rain to try to get at time. And said he might join me if it rains. And if he isn't here, but now he'll never be here. Ireland fumbles the snap from center, goes back to fall on. He may be in the end zone. Or if he is, he is very, very close. Hayward 
receiver of Chris Aramis, Aaron Grayling, coming wide to the near side, getting single coverage, and here comes the throw for Grayling, and it is knocked away and nearly intercepted as the center fielder, Steve Poston, knew exactly where that ball was going. He picked up the number on his last attempt. He just shoveled the ball forward when he tried to take his step. Now his heels are up against the end of the end zone. He'll have a very short step and get that out of there. Right there. Gets it out. It hits at the 30-yard line, rolls to the 32, then turns around and rolls back to the 30, and that's where the Gales will play it. First and 10 continues to run the offense for Lancaster. One running back, wide out either side, and gets the snap and goes to roster his running back, who steps inside the 30 to the 29, and then is ripped backwards, but gets the entire game, and have yet given up only 14. Walter comes out. Second down, nine yards to go. Murray with the snap. Takes both ways, back to throw, over the middle, it is for his tight end, Henwood, and another great catch at the 12-yard line. Tim Henwood catches the ball, Glenn Bear offering defensive coverage, and this Henwood has been tough. Henwood picks up his eighth catch, and 103 yards to the air for Henwood, the receiver. First down, 10 Lancaster, 14-0 Gale Lee. Gales go to Colin Foote. Colin Foote is hit in the backfield. The minute he gets the handoff, he is hit. <laughs> Second down, 12 from the 13-yard line. Gales football driving towards the Finley goal line. Burry rolls right, tucks it away. He steps to the 15, the 10. Inside the 10 and dives to the 5-yard line. Good move by Scott Burry. And tackled by Fred Love, the inside linebacker. Back out under center now on third down three, 321 remaining, third quarter of play. Murray steps back three steps, turns, fires, hits, touchdown. Colin Foot catches his second touchdown pass of the night. And the Gales go up 20 to nothing. Murray to Foot. He had Chris Bouth open in the corner of the end zone, and I think that's where 13 of 20 for Murray in the passing department. And what a performance he has put on here in this driving range. Bosworth now to attempt the extra point out of the hole by Murray. The snap, the placement, the kick, and it is good. 21-0 Gales will be back after this time of time. They say time waits for no one. Time creates memories. And at Tracy Levesque Studio, you record it with the Gales leading 21-0, and it's raining harder than it was even a few minutes ago. Bosworth will be kicking it off, and Bear will be the deep receiver for the Trojans. Bosworth says, I'm ready. Let's get this thing underway. The whistle blows, and he moves on the ball. It is a end-over-end -end short kick. Hits at the sidelines and dies at the 19, and the Trojans dive at it and cover it. That's a live football, and it's so wet that the ball hit at the 19. Trading 21-0. Ireland, the quarterback, out of an eye formation with a pro set. Looking into a four-man front, gets the snap, goes to his tailback, and it is Glenn Bear who steps out to the 18-yard line, and that's about all. He may have lost the yard, or the Ireland has Ryan Cutright as his only running back now. Wide and one running back gets the snap, and he goes to that running back, and there's not much there. Plowing out to maybe the 25-yard line. Todd Flint makes up the 25-yard line. They must move to the 28 for the first down. One running back. Wide out to either side. Fake reverse. Ireland rolls right. Being chased. Gets the pass away. Completes it to Cutright. First down to the 30-yard line. Nice catch in this driving range by Ryan Cutright and Todd Burwell breaks him down. So back to the line they come at the 30. First down, 10 Finley. Ireland to throw over the middle. It is deflected and nearly intercepted. It was Matt Baller who stepped in front of the intended receiver and near 53% coming into this game. Ireland back to throw again on second down and 10. Rolling left and he's safe, he's dead and he's dropped. Big time back, clear back to the 16-yard line by John Carter. Boy, has he come on the second half of play. John Carter, 5'10", 170 pounds senior, and he's remarkable when he came in shooting 53%. Slots the formation to the right side and Ireland rolls right to throw it. 
He fires, and it is short of the mark and incomplete, and fourth down and 23 for Finley with only seven seconds remaining. And the problems back there in this driving rainstorm trying to pump the football. He shovel passed one forward two attempts ago. Last attempt was very good from deep in his own end zone, and he gets this one away, end over end. That most and touches at the 45 in Finley territory and then does the wise thing. Rather than try to scoop up that wet football, he just dives on top of it. Of PNC Bank. Super Z 103, WSWC, Lancaster. Fourth quarter gets underway. Murray drops the throw and he is sacked as he's knocked down on his side of the 50 yard line. He uh, turns the trick as he came in a scoreless game and moved the Gales on his first series for a touchdown and hasn't looked back since. It's 21 0. Murray drops again to throw. Looking right. Tucks it away now. Then pump fake. Tucks it away again. Gets to the 50. Watches across the 47 and is down at the 46 in Finley territory in the arms of Aaron Graylick. So the game ball just short of the 46 in Finley territory. Third down as well. Murray under center for the snap. Back to throw. The Collin put it to 50, to the 45, to the 40-yard line, but well short of the first down. It's Collin put as he is taken down at the 35-yard line. Rick Ritzler makes the tackle, bringing on fourth down. Kenwood, standing at his own 47, gets the snap from center and gets the kick away. Does it nicely in this condition and knocks it toward the sidelines and out of bounds at the 18-yard line, and that's where the ball will be put in play. Beat this Finley team last week, so Newark may have to be reckoned with this year in the BCC. There's a fumble snap from center and falling on the ball with Aaron Grayling. And Grayling covers it back at about the 15 yard to the short side and landing into the wide side of the field. Has only one running back, and that's Ryan Cutright. And he pumps bait. Now he'll throw toward the sideline. It is incomplete. Pass was intended for Graylick and defensive coverage by Billy Billy. Graylick helped up by the Lancaster High School coaching staff. And Trojans with 9-10 remaining in the game. The Gales lead it 21-0. Chris Ireland fakes the handoff back to throw. He fires and it is almost intercepted and then it is caught. At the 22-yard line, a man prepares to kick it away. He'll get the snap at his own 10-yard line. Snap is perfect. The rush is big, and he gets his best effort of the way of the uh, night away. And a penalty fly goes down as Poston catches the ball at his own 41-yard line, comes across the field, and is knocked out of bounds at the 49 and throws in Ferris down in 10. At their own 38-yard line, Ireland calling for the snap out of the eye formation, fumbles the football, but the Trojans dive back in to recover. Man, of Ireland calls the play from rather close range, and then they move to the line of scrimmage out of the power eye formation. There's a pitch back and a fumble, and this one belongs to the Gale. John Carter recovering a fumble pitch out at the 31-yard line, and the Gale offense Nick McCoy back at the controls for the Gales. Sends wide receivers to either side and one running back. McCoy drops the throw. He turns and he fires and it is incomplete at the 28-yard line. He intended it as the Trojans go back to their defensive ways and the Gales come back out over the ball on second down and 10. At the 31 of the Trojans. A fumble on the handoff to Colin Foot and Colin turns and falls on the ball at the 35. Third down and 14, I believe, is what the call should be. Third down and 14. And the Gales are back out over the ball. And McCoy rolls right, and he's being rushed hard. And he throws as he has been, and he completes the pass to Kurt Morris. And Morris is stopped just short of the first down by a couple of yards. Fred Lund makes the tackle. Morris took the ball at the 27 and side of the field. They're working uh, with two running backs now as McCoy gets the snap and gives to Colin Foote. And Colin Foote has the first down, and he drives off right tackle inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Glenn Bear makes the stop for the throw in the game. The Gales leading 21-0. Colin Foote has scored all three Lancaster touchdowns, and he's the leading scorer in this BCC conference. And Colin Foote will get another crack at it off the same hole off right.
right back again uh, in tandem to the wide side of the field. Book and Kurt Morris, the running back behind Nick McCoy. Second down, seven. McCoy fumbles the snap from center and then wisely just falls. He won nothing. The twins, Wheeler and Brown, again in tandem to the wide side. McCoy rolls left. Turn. Look. does not work. Murray picks it up and rolls right. He throws it into the end zone. It is deflected and incomplete. And the score remains 27 for the Gales, leading 27-0. And Travis Simons is back in the deep receiving position. The ball, however, is kicked to the far side of the field, fumbled, and then picked up and run to the 20, to the 21, to the 22. And that's as far as the Trojans will go as Jason Wolf plays a lick on the ball carrier, Matt Gray. And that's where the Trojans will play it. First down, and Simon brings his team to the line. He has Drew Whitaker wide to the near side. Single coverage on Drew, and also uh, Graylick wide to the far side. He also gets single coverage. And off to the tailback. And it is Josh Miller into the hole. And out over the 25 to the 27, the 28 yard more will be the opponent. Finley coming back to the line of scrimmage. Glenn Bayer is down the tailback. Cut right at fullback. It is Bayer getting the handoff. The second man through. Cut right misses his block. And Bayer is buried at the 30 yard line. Graylick and Lanigan are the wideout. They're slots to either side as the opens it up on this play, and on the quarterback draw, score to the first down is Chris Ireland. A definite draw play. He took three steps back, didn't even look like he was going to strip in Wickham and post him deep to receive this expected punt. Snap is low, he scoops it up, and he kicks it again very nicely under those conditions, and Wickham drops the football and falls on it at the 39-yard line in Lancaster territory. 30-yard effort, and uh, more. Uh, Danny Bowles is in the Lancaster backfield. I believe that's Matt Hilliard uh, wide to the left here. So we'll try to pick up the new numbers as quickly as we can. The tailback gets the call and gets to the 40 for a gain of one yard to the near sideline along with uh, Matt Hilliard. Right is right left. Running backs are split. Two minutes, nine seconds remaining. Second down, nine yards to go. McCoy rolls left. He wants to throw it. Being rushed, he's hit, and he's dropped at the 36-yard line for a loss of four on the play. His offense to the line of scrimmage. He has Hilliard uh, far to the wide side of the field, and McCoy wants to throw it. He is being flushed out of the pocket, rushed to the sideline, skips out of a tackle, turns and fires it back across to the near side. He's intercepted at the 45. To the 40, to the 35, goes Glenn Bear, to the 30, to the 20, outruns the Lancaster defense, touchdown, Finley. The Trojans have elected to attempt the conversion, the kick conversion, and it will be a fake, and Beal picks who was going to kick, block, as the tailback goes back to throw a pass, and it is incomplete, and the score remains 27-6. Glenn Bear was the holder, uh, scoring touchdown. He sure does, and here comes the kickoff, and it is a line drive type kick that uh, bounces into the arms of Chris Faust at the 22. 25, finds a hole, 30, 35, 40, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. A nice return by Chris Faust, who has some good in territory. Loose under calling for the snap. Gives to Kurt Morris, and Morris picks up one yard to the 41 yard line for Jack Miller, 42 seconds. Wide out to either side. Loose gets the snap, gives to the first man through. It is Matt Stevelton, and Stevelton pulls and powers and forces his way out the midfield. A fine driving run by Matt Stevelton, and it's possibly a first down. Up to the end. They're not going to get it to him. They're calling it uh, third down and inches to go. Well, he can't be too far. So Luce is up there under center again with two running backs. Fumbles the ball, or uh, bobbles the snap, but he was going as the Gales begin the celebration. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and it is over. The Lancaster Gales defeat Finley in the opening.